that building? I have. Uh, where the fireplaces are level. Mm -hmm. Good building. Really nice. It was a nice meeting you. Catch you up.
you remember in 2003 the crop formations that popped up in Bainbridge and Peebles, Ohio? This is the formation that popped up in Bainbridge, not your typical circle made by kids with two by fours or four wheelers. The crop itself was swollen and hunched over as if something had microwaved it. It was exposed to high levels of magnetic radiation. Plus, the original soil I photographed on the ground level, you can see elements of metallic ash within, within the actual environment itself. Plus, I have fillings in my teeth that are lead-based, and it reacted to the magnetic uh, field within the, the, the formation. The center of the formation itself was the most powerful uh, point of magnetic reaction. This is the first book that our research has been chronicled in. It goes from coast to coast by Kelly Ami out of Arizona. She's in her late 70s. She's written ghost books for over 20 years. And she did one that featured pictures and images captured by paranormal researchers. She found us through Google and got permission to use this picture. And since then, we've been featured in this. And I've had my very first book published as of last year, which has stories about the Majestic, stories about Elizabeth's grave, uh, different stories about tri-county areas like during the uh, Civil War era, plus the crop formations. I have my account for what I experienced in this. Documentary that I have on right now is from an investigation we did two weeks ago at the Canal House, also known as the Ashley House. I put together a half hour episode, which will be on Horizon View Channel 11, also on PBS before Halloween, uh, out of Columbus. But we've been featured in the Gazette. I was a guest speaker at the Mothman Festival in Chillicothe. Chillicothe. Since when did we do that? Point Pleasant, West Virginia. I'm sure most of you have heard of the Mothman phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And we did the Majestic Theater in March. And this is the newspaper from last year for the second annual Chillicothe History and Mystery Ghost Tour. It has my ugly mug. They didn't sell that many issues of that paper that year. I'm joking, they didn't sell a lot. And this is a K2 meter, which does basically the same job as an EMF meter. But sometimes it will pulse not due to any kind of electrical impulse, but something verbally trying to speak to you. And if that's reacting, then this is a plan B for that, because if you pick up an electronic voice phenomenon through this, some sort of a voice, a stitch in time, basically, like a residual occurrence, you can usually hear voices come through that, which we picked up in Point Pleasant at the Low Hotel, which is the most haunted hotel in West Virginia, so they say. And we picked up the sound of a child talking to us, or mimicking us, as my friend and I, who came with me to do the research, she's one of my team members, we were just talking about movies. We weren't saying, give us a sign, we weren't saying, talk into that. We were just talking about the Lord of the Rings series. And it sounded as if a child was in the room, mocking us or mimicking us, like a little brother would do to you, perhaps. Uh, when you're texting or talking to your girlfriends, and he's like, you know, mom, ha, ha, making fun of me. It was kind of like that. And this is one of our newest tools we picked up. This is a boroscope, which actually I purchased from Snap-on, as you can tell. Mechanics use this to snake it through lines to look for clogs. But this comes in handy when I'm in an area where there's a small keyhole and I cannot get access into the room, so I snake it through. Or if I'm in an area where there's German brick that's been put up like underneath uh, the uh, Cross Keys Tavern, and they put brick up after the fact, which would have allowed me to go through the rest of the tunnel system. I can put this through the cracks and see how far it goes. It's a lot of fun unless you're putting it through the crack and then you see someone else's face on the other side. That's kind of freaky. But that's the work that I do. My books I have on that table for sale, 16 bucks a piece. I'll be happy to autograph them. I also have little chew toys for your dogs or stuffed toys for your kids with our team logo on it. Those are five bucks a piece. I'll sell them book and stuff toy together for 18 bucks and call it a day. But you're welcome to guide yourself past this partition, go downstairs through uh, the cellar entryway and see the uh, rest of the magic from beneath. Is there a man at the bottom of the stairs? <laughs> there were two people who went down the stairs probably a half an hour ago and they've not come back up. This is a song guy who told her, so if you need any help, let me know. Regular tape or wood that has the tapes, you always hear the, uh, the drag of the tape. You always hear that over everything else. Regular, regular digital recordings have the ability to pick up a higher pitch or a lower grade pitch, and you don't hear that in that mechanical noise. Plus, they have PC interface that allows you to manipulate the foreground versus the background.
I saw a fox, a red fox, just like perched on top of the headstone, just popped over and staring at me. It's almost like it was my spirit guide or something. 